vitiline duct. This is the yolk sac, and this is the vitiline duct will be connect the mid gut with yolk sac. Vitiline duct connect mid gut with yolk sac. As we say, there are three germ layer: ectoderm, endoderm, mesoderm. Epithelium of respiratory system derivative from endoderm. Also, epithelium of digestive system and parenchyma of its derivatives also originate in the endoderm, while connective tissue, muscular, peritoneal component originate in the mesoderm. We are repeat. The gut system extends from oropharyngeal membrane to the cloacal membrane, divided into four parts, pharyngeal gut, foregut, midgut, hindgut. Midgut, this is the only part, will still connect to the yolk sac by means of vitiline duct or yolk sac. Epithelium of Risk digestive system originate in endoderm. Connective tissue and muscular peritoneal component originate in mesoderm. Mesenteries. Portions of the gut tube and its derivatives are suspended in a close an organ and it connect to the body wall from the dorsal and ventral body wall by mesenteries. Then cool organ, big digestive system and its derivative will be enclosed by mesenteries. Rahigati mesenteries from ventral and dorsal part. And this is connect to the body wall. How the mesenteries are going to the body wall from dorsal and ventral body wall. What is the definition of mesenteries? It is double layers of peritoneum that enclose an organ and connect it to the body wall. Mesenteries, it is double layers of peritoneum that enclose an organ and connect it to the body wall. These organs will be called intraperitoneal, while other organs covered by peritoneum on their interior surface only will be called retroperitoneal, example kidneys. We are repeat. Mesenteries, it is a double layers of peritoneum that enclose an organ and connect it to the body wall. These organs, will be connected to the body wall from anterior and posterior surface wall will be called intraperitoneal. While other organs are covered by peritoneum on their interior surface only. This is called retroperitoneal, example kidneys. What are the other advantage of mesenteries? Mesenteries will be provides pathways for vessels, nerves, and lymphatics to and from abdominal viscera. Provides pathways for vessels, nerves, lymphatics, and to and from abdominal viscera. We are repeat. طلابنا جو متأخرين. طلابنا صوت واضح وياي. Nam Dr. Rawabi. Nam Dr. Rawabi. Nam
What are the important points in this slide? أول شيء نقسم هذا السلايد إلى عدة نقاط. أول نقطة نقول the gut system extends from oropharyngeal membrane to the cloacal membrane. إذن أجزاء the gut system راح يبدي هذا الجهاز من the oropharyngeal membrane to the cloacal membrane, divided into four parts. The gut tube, the gut system, divided into four parts: pharyngeal, fore gut, mid gut, and hind gut. نقطة ثالثة المفروض نعرف إنه ال mid gut will be still connect with yolk sac. This is the only part of the gut tube is still connect to the yolk sac across by the vitelline duct, by the vitelline duct. أو الاسم الثاني اللي هي yolk sac. Epithelium of digestive system originate in endoderm, while connective, muscular, and peritoneal originate in the mesoderm. Slide the other. Mesenteries. What is the definition of mesenteries? It is a double layer of peritoneum that enclose an organ and connect it to the body wall. هذا الorgans اللي هي connect to the body wall, the posterior, or the interior surface will be called intraperitoneal organ. While other organs are covered by peritoneum only on the anterior surface. Example, kidneys. This is considered retroperitoneal. What is the advantage of the mesenteries? احنا مثل ما عرفنا هي enclose للorgan and connect it to the body wall. تحوط الorgan وتربطه مع body wall. Other advantage will be provide pathways, mammar, for vessel, nerve, and lymphatic to and from abdominal viscera. What are the divisions of mesentery? Dorsal and ventral mesentery. Dorsal and ventral mesentery. Now, we begin here and see the lower end of the esophagus, and this is the stomach. هذه اللي بحرو في السي هي جودينا، وهنا أنا راح نبدي على المدقات والهندقات. هذا هي اللي موجود كله القط سيستم لكن ما عدي هنا الفرنجية القط بديت من the lower end of the oesophagus. Dorsal mesentery will be extended from lower end of the oesophagus to the cloacal. يعني منين راح يمر هذا the lower end of the oesophagus المن للستومك للجودنا للميد قط هند قط to the cloacal. هذا شيء سمي سمي dorsal mesentery اللي هو هذا. هذا هو اللي باللون البرتقالي كل هذا دورزل مزيتري اللي عن طريق إيش صار بات وي ممرات المن للفزل للنير للليمفاتيك إذا هذا اللون هو يعتبر دورزل مزيتري start from lower end of the esophagus stomach duodenum mid gut hind gut and cloaca according to each region راح يكون إلى هنا بعد الكلوكا region of the hind gut كل ريجن إلى نيب معين. بالستومك هنا راح أسمي دورزال ميزو غاستريوم. هذا هو. دورزال ميزو غاستريوم اللي صاير وين؟ منطقة الستومك. الاسم الآخر إلى هو جريتر أومنتم. جريتر أومنتم. إذا هذا شنو عندنا هنا؟ دورزال ميزو غاستريوم. In the region of the duodenum، إيش راح أسمي؟ أسمي دورزال ميزو جودينم. هذه هالمنطقة. Dorsal mesu ejudina. In the colon will be say dorsal mesu colon. Ilia and ejudina will be called mesentery proper. This is called the dorsal mesentery. This is dorsal mesu colon. The colon dorsal mesu colon. Dor mesentery proper. للإليوم and جوجينم دورزال ميزو جوجينم للجوجينم دورزال ميزو غاستريوم للستومك This is called دورزال ميزنتري Ventral ميزنتري will be exit only in the region of the terminal part of the oesophagus stomach and upper part of the جوجينم هذا الجزء هو الفنترال ميزنتري اللي موجود بال Terminal part of the esophagus, stomach, upper part of the duodenum. But this 
ventral mesentery will be divided into two parts, lesser omentum and falciform ligament. Lesser omentum and falciform ligament. ليش؟ لأنه صار الديفيجن إلا باي ذا ليفر بود. إجا الليفر هنا وقسمنا الـ ventral mesentery إلى جزئين. الليسر أومنتم هنا موجود بالـ upper الـ lower part أو terminal part of the oesophagus stomach and the upper part of the duodenum to the liver bud. إذن extend من هذه المنطقة للليفر. لكن from liver bud to the ventral wall of the body هذا راح أسميه false form. Ligament. Now, a growth of the liver bud divided the ventral mesentery into lesser omentum. Lesser omentum extend from the lower portion of the oesophagus, stomach, and upper portion of the duodenum to the liver. هذا هو lesser omentum. لكن the false form ligament will be extend from the liver bud to the ventral body wall. To the ventral body wall. We are repeat. As we say, gut system extend from oropharyngeal membrane to the cloacal membrane, divided into four parts: pharyngeal gut, foregut, midgut, hind gut. Midgut, this is the only part will still connect with yolk sac by vitelline duct or yolk stalk. Epithelium of digestive system originate in endoderm. Connective tissue, muscular, peritoneal, will be originate in the uh, mesoderm. Mesenteries, it is a double layer of peritoneum, enclose an organ, and connect it to body wall. This is called intraperitoneal organ. While kidneys is considered as retroperitoneal organ covered by epithelium of the anterior surface only. Mesenteries will be considered as pathways for vessels, uh, uh, nerves, and lymphatics to and from the abdominal viscera. Mesenteries will be divided into two parts, dorsal mesentery and ventral mesentery. Dorsal mesentery will be start from the lower portion of the oesophagus, stomach, duodenum, colon, Hind gut to the cloac will be named according to the region. Dorsal mesogastrium, little stomach, dorsal mesoduodenum in the region of duodenum, dorsal mesocolon in the region of colon, mesentery proper in the region of the ilia and duodenal. Ventral mesentery is divided into two parts: lesser omentum and false form ligament by the liver bud. The lesser omentum will be started from the lower portion of the oesophagus, stomach, upper portion of the duodenum to the liver. Then هذا the exit, هذا الحدود اللي إلى. لكنه false form ligament from the liver bud to the ventral body wall. To the ventral body wall. As we say, the ventral, as we say, the ventral mesentery will be exit in the terminal part of the oesophagus, stomach, upper portion of the duodenum. هذا هنا راح يظهرنا بهذا المنطقة لكن الليفر بود قسمته وسويته جزئين لسر أومنتم and false form ligament. Answer with true or false for the following statement. The gut system divided into two parts only, pharyngeal gut and hind gut. False. The gut system will be divided into four parts, pharyngeal gut, mid gut, hind gut, and Mid gut. True. Epithelium, yes. Epithelium of digestive system originate in the endoderm, while muscular component originate in the mesoderm. True. 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 Definition of vitiline duct or yolk stack. It is a duct connect hind gut to the yolk sac. 
Yes, very good. Kidneys consider as retroperitoneal organ were covered by peritoneum on their interior surface only. True. 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 provide pathway for vessel, lymphatic, and nerve to and from abdominal viscera. True. 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 Yes. is a single layer of peritoneum that includes an organ and connect it to the body wall. False. 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 Double False. layer. Double layer. Double layer. Mesentery divided into two parts: dorsal mesentery and ventral mesentery. True. 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 Yes. Dorsal mesoduodenum in the region of the stomach. False. 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 Of duodenum in the in the region of duodenum. Gut system extend from oropharyngeal membrane to the cloacal membrane. True. 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 Mesentery proper is a ventral mesentery of the duodenal and ileal loops. False. 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 True. It is a dorsal True. mesentery. Dorsal mesentery, not ventral mesentery. صحيح هي بالجوجينال اند اليا لكن هي دورزل ميزنتري يس ليسر اومنتوم اكستند فروم لور بورشن اوف ذا اوسفاجس ستومك اند ابر بورشن اوف ذا جوجينوم تو ذا فينترال بودي وول ترو فالس 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 تو ذا ليفر تو ذا ليفر بود Like the false form ligament from the liver bud to the ventral body wall. Meso, dorsal meso colon in the region of colon. Arrasmo jawboni. Dorsal meso colon is a dorsal mesentery in the colon. Yes, it's true. Like the mesenteral, like in Guinea, it's a dorsal mesentery. It's found in the duodenal and the ileum. دورزال ميزو جوجينم قلنا منطقة الجوجينم على اسمها دورزال ميزو جاس جاستريوم أو سميتا جريتر أومنتوم هي موجودة هنا أنا وين بالاستومك لكن الليسر أومنتوم يعتبر فينترال ميزنتري والدورزال والجريتر أومنتوم شو يعتبر هنا أنا دورزال ميزنتري عندنا ليسر أومنتوم وعندنا جريتر أومنتوم ليسر أومنتوم هو فينترال ميزنتري وين موجود؟ منطقة الاستومك. لكن الجريتر اومنتوم يعتبر دورزال ميزنتري موجود منطقة الاستومك. دورزال ميزو جاستريوم الاسم الاخر له هو جريتر اومنتوم. واضح كلامي؟ هذه منطقة الاستومك. دورزال ميزنتري سميته جريتر اومنتوم. شنو الاسم الثاني؟ دورزال ميزو جاستريوم. لكن الفنترال ميزنتري للستومك سميته لسر اومنتوم للداخل فنترال وللخارج اسميه دورزال اوكي وي ستارت وذ فرنجيال جات احنا قلنا الجات سيستم ويل بي اكستند فروم اورو فرنجيال ممبر تو ذا كلويكال ممبر وقلنا هنا Divided into four parts: pharyngeal gut, foregut, midgut, hindgut. هذه المحاضرة راح نتحدث عن the pharyngeal gut and the foregut. لكن المحاضرة الثانية نتحدث عن the midgut and the hindgut. Pharyngeal gut will be extended from oral pharyngeal membrane to the respiratory diverticulum. اللي هو جزء من the foregut to the coronal respiratory diverticulum. اللي هو اللنج بود قلنا هو فينترال بورشن اوف ذا فور جت لكن الدورزال بورشن اوف ذا فور جت كان الاوسيفيجاس في المحاضره السابقه فالفرنجيال جت اكستند فروم اورو فرنجيال ممبرين تو ذا ريسبيرتوري دايفرتيكولا ات از امبورتنت فور ديفلوبمنت اوف ذا هيد اند نيك فرنجيال جت اكستند فروم اورو فرنجيال ممبرين تو ذا ريسبيرتوري دايفرتيكولا 
important for development of head and neck. What are the important features this in development of the head and neck is the presence of pharyngeal arch, يعني الأقواس, clefts, الشقوق, and pouches, الأكياس. هذه الأقواس اللي هنا موجودة والأكياس والكلفت الشقوق اللي موجودة. فهذه هي pharyngeal pouch والarch and clefts. Pharyngeal gut extend from oropharyngeal membrane to the respiratory diverticulum. Important for development of head and neck. The most distinctive feature in development of the head and neck is the presence of pharyngeal arch, cleft, and pouch. We start with four gut. This is pharyngeal gut, important for development of the head and neck. The most important feature in development of head and neck is the presence of pharyngeal arch, cleft, pouch, Extend from oropharyngeal membrane to the respiratory diverticulum. هذه هي الزرقاء respiratory diverticulum. هذه هي lung bud. For gut will be give rise to the oesophagus as the dorsal portion, to the ventral portion, trachea and lung bud. Also give rise to the stomach, pancreas, liver. And biliary apparatus. This is will be called the foregut. جزء الأصفر pharyngeal gut. الجزء اللي يبدي باللون هذا respiratory, oesophagus, stomach, pancreas, liver and biliary. هذا foregut. محاضرة القادمة راح نتحدث عن المدقت اللي هي تبقى connect لليوك ساك عن طريق الفيتيلاين دكت. وبعدها نتحدث عن الهند جات اللي تنتهي بالكلويك هذا هو الدايجستيف سيستم بدا من الاورو فارينجيال ممبر تو ذا كلويكال ممبر تقسم الى فارينجيال جات الى فور جات بعدها هذه الميد جات والجزء الاخير اللي هو الهند جات فور جات انكلود ذا فالوينج اورجانز ريسبيراتوري دايفيرتيكولوم اوسيفيجاس Stomach, pancreas, liver, and biliary apparatus. Pharyngeal gut will be start from the oropharyngeal membrane to the respiratory tract or diverticulum. Important for development of the head and neck. The most important feature in development of head and neck is the presence of pharyngeal arch, pharyngeal pouch, and cleft. Osphagus. As we say, development, نذكر هذه الصورة نفسها وجدناها محاضرة respiratory system. هذه هي respiratory diverticulum دائما باللون الأزرق وهنا بالنهاية راح يتكون لي يصير عندنا الأوسفيكس. فهذه هي المرحلة الأخيرة وقلنا بداية ال development راح تكون في الأسبوع الرابع من الحمل. Four weeks old. The embryo will be developed. The forgot. developed into ventral portion اللي هو راح يكون respiratory diverticulum اللي يتمثل بالنهاية بالتريكي and lung bud لكن الدورزال portion هو راح يكون الأوسفيقس at beginning the أوسفيقس will be short but later on will be lengthening rapidly with descent of the heart and lung okay Choose the most appropriate answer for the following statement. Pharyngeal gut. A. Extend from oropharyngeal membrane to the respiratory diverticulum. B. Important for development of the head and neck. C. The most important feature In development of head and neck is the presence of a pharyngeal arch, clefts, and pouch. D, all of the above are true. Oh, no. D, D, all of the above. Yes, very good. Yes, very good. Ventral portion of the foregut is trachea and lung bud. 
dorsal portion of the foregut is the ossifagus. So, development of these or these changes will be happen at embryo development at four weeks. D, all of the above are true. Arbaatum sahihat. Aita ilkum. Statement is forgot. A, dorsal portion of the forgot developed into osphagus. B, ventral portion of the foregut will be developed into lung body. C, foregut will be include osophagus, stomach, duodenum, liver, pancreas, and biliary aberrates. D, all of the above are true. All of the above are true. D, all, above. D. all D. of the above are true. Yes, very good. Gut system A include three parts, B include two parts, C include one part, D include four parts pharyngeal gut, mid gut, head gut, and four gut. D. Indeed. 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 نختار الجملة الصحيحة. A. Extend from liver bud to dorsal body wall. B. Is a part of the hind gut. C. It is a dorsal mesentery. D. All of the above, none of the above. B. No, no, no. None of the above. None of the above. None of the above. I'll tell you. The false form of the sentence. A extend from liver bud to the stomach will be appears as a fusiform dilation. Appear as a fusiform dilation of the foregut in the fourth week of development. إحنا كل هسته هاي محاضرة الرسبيراتيري محاضرة الدايجستيف بدأت الديفلوبمنت من الأسبوع الرابع. هذه الستومك اللي هي فيوزيفورم دايليش راح يصير هنا في تشينجز بالبوزيشن مالتها إلى أن توصل إلى الشكل النهائي اللي هو هذا. وي الديفلوبمنت أوف ذا إمبريو راح يصير هنا التشينجز بالبوزيشن أراوند لونجيتودينا أند أنتيرو posterior axis. بالنهاية إيش راح يعطيني بعد هذا الروتيشن اللي صار عندنا؟ راح يعطيني posterior ويعطيني هنا anterior portion. Posterior wall of the stomach راح يكون development faster than the anterior wall of the stomach. Posterior wall of the stomach development will be faster than anterior portion. لما قلنا هذا الأسرع النمو مالته بالبوستيرير الاسم مالته ايش راح نسميه جريتر اومنتم او جريتر العفو كيرفيشر جريتر كيرفيشر لكن هنا هذا اسميه لسر كيرفيشر نعيده الستومك will be appears as a fusiform dilation at four weeks of development positional changes will be happen of the stomach by assuming it rotates around its longitudinal and an anterior-posterior axis. Anterior-posterior axis. The development will be as the following. Original posterior wall of the stomach grow faster than anterior portion. Posterior wall of the stomach will be grow faster than anterior wall of the stomach. This is 
called greater curvature and this is will be called lesser curvature. The stomach will be rotate around its anterior posterior axis يعني يلتف هنا شرح ينهيلي طيني جزئين pyloric or caudal part وراح ينطينا الجزء اللي على اللي هو سيفاليك or cardiac portion إذا هذا pyloric وهذا سيفاليك هنا كودا هنا أسمي الاسم الآخر cardiac pyloric إيش راح يتحرك هنا الموفمنت مالته راح تكون للرايت شوفوا على جهة اليمين and upward للأعلى <تصفيق> <laughs> the stomach will be rotated around an anterior posterior axis such that the caudal or pyloric part moves to the right and upward, while cephalic or cardiac portion will be moves to the left and slightly downward, slightly downward, شوف هذا الحركة, left and slightly downward, هذا سمي cephalic, or cardiac portion لكن هذا ال pyloric or caudal portion الموفمنت راح تكون to the right and upward to the right and upward we repeat stomach is a fusiform dilation rotation around its longitudinal or an anterior posterior axis there is a end result of development as the following Greater curvature and lesser curvature. Also pyloric part and cephalic part. Greater curvature is the posterior wall of the stomach. Will be grow faster than the anterior wall of the stomach. This is called greater curvature and this is called lesser curvature. هذا المنحني اللي هو lesser. Other development movement around anterior posterior axis will be lead to formation of pyloric or caudal and cephalic or cardiac portion. Pyloric or caudal portion will be developed to the right and upward, while the cephalic or cardiac portion will be developed to the left or move to the left and to the slightly downward. Okay. Answer with the true or false for the following statement. Greater curvature is developed faster than anterior curvature. True. 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 And anterior curvature is methani lesser. Well, greater curvature is melacher shinoa posterior. Posterior. Yes. Cephalic portion will be moved to the left, while pyloric portion will be moved to the right. True. 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 احنا دائما نستخدم الـ يعني الاسماء الثانيه مثل سيفاليك كارديك نقول بايلوريك كودال حتى نفهم جريتر كيرفيتشر قلنا بوستيرير بورشن او بوستيرير وول اوف ذا ستومك ليسر كيرفيتشر اللي هو الانتيرير وول اوف ذا ستومك يس هذه هي الديفلوبمنت اوف ذا ستومك وات ار ذا ابنورماليتيز ريليتد تو ذا فورغات Ossifagal abnormalities and stomach abnormalities. Ossifagal abnormalities include ossifagal atresia and or tracheoesophageal fistula and ossifagal stenosis. Ossifagal atresia, ossifagal stenosis. This ossifagal atresia and or tracheoesophageal fistula. قد يكون ويا tracheoesophageal fistula أو فقط tracheoesophageal fistula. Stomach abnormalities. One of the most common abnormalities of the stomach 
اللي هي بايلوريك ستينوسيس هنا سميته اوسيفاجيال ستينوسيس لكن هنا شنو بايلوريك ستينوسيس على اليمن على هذا الجزء يصير ستينوسيس هنا بايلوريك ستينوسيس This abnormalities previously believed to develop only during fetal life يعني فقط intrauterine life فقط بداخل الرحم تتكون هذه pyloric stenosis لكنه شافوا despite the fact the most cases present 3 to 5 days after birth يعني ممكن بعد الولادة راح تنوجد 3 to 5 days after birth We are repeat this Lecture will be talk about the divisions of the gut tube, mesenteries, pharyngeal gut, and foregut. Gut system extends from oropharyngeal membrane to the cloacal membrane. Four parts: pharyngeal, four midgut, hindgut. They connect to the yolk sac only the midgut by vitelline duct or yolk sac. Epithelium originate in endoderm. Connective and mesentery originate in mesoderm. What is meaning of mesenteries? Double layer of peritoneum in closed organ and connect to body wall. This organs will be called intraperitonea, while if connect only to anterior surface only, this is called retroperitoneal kidneys. Importance of the mesenteries consider as pathway to four vessel, lymphatics and nerve to and from abdominal viscera, divided into dorsal mesentery and ventral mesentery. This is will be called dorsal mesogastrium, dorsal mesocolon, mesentery proper, dorsal mesocolon, and dorsal mesentery will be extended from lower portion of the oesophagus to the cloacal membrane, while ventral mesentery is divided by liver wood and extend from the lower portion of the oesophagus, stomach, upper portion of the duodenum to the ventral wall of the body, but divided by liver wood into two parts, lesser omentum from lower portion of oesophagus, stomach, upper portion of the duodenum to the liver wood. Well, this is false form ligament from liver wood to the ventral body wall. Pharyngeal gut is uh, extended from oropharyngeal membrane to the respiratory diverticulum, important for development head and neck. The most important feature of development of head of and neck is development of pharyngeal arch, pouch, and cleft. For gut, this is pharyngeal gut. For gut will be extended from the oesophagus, include oesophagus, respiratory diverticulum, stomach, pancreas, liver, and biliary apparatus. The oesophagus is considered as a dorsal portion of the foregut, while ventral portion of foregut is respiratory diverticulum. At first, oesophagus will be developed short, but with the uh, extension of the heart will be lengthening of the oesophagus. The stomach is considered as a fusiform development, but with development, there is a rotation as anterior longitudinal and anterior posterior axis. The end result of this rotation is development of the uh, greater curvature, which is uh, growing faster than anterior portion, the lesser curvature. And there is development of the pyloric part and cephalic part or cardiac. Movement of cephalic or cardiac to the left and slightly downward, while development of the bilateral or caudal to the right and upward. What are the abnormalities related to oesophagus, oesophageal atresia, and or tracheoesophageal fistula, oesophageal stenosis? The most important abnormalities related to the stomach is pyloric stenosis, considered as intrauterine life, but the fact will be uh, there is most cases present three to five days after birth. Thank you very much. Inshallah, sahil al